Hi there, signs of Gemini. This is Kim here to do a reading for your next 48 hours. I have been doing past, present, future, but I think I'm just going to do a Celtic cross for your group of Gemini. Feeling kind of pulled to do that for some reason. So there must be a message in here for you. Um, asking that your angels and your spirit team join us. So the messages we get, the intent is for them to come to the highest good. And I'm using the Uncommon Tarot to full a cross for the sign of Gemini. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords. Ugh. So, something um, painful occurred. Uh, it could be a loss, a, a sadness, or it could be expressed as sorrow. Pool. Um, ooh, bringing about major change for you. All because you can see something pretty clearly right now. Empress, let's do two for the wheel in reverse. The page of coins in reverse. Okay, this is about when um, when it's no longer um, appropriate to be flexible or adaptable. When um, when the, the universe will bring in a tower moment. Let me make sure you can see. Of course, you can't see everything. Hang on. All right. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, okay. So, when there's an inability... Um, to be really flexible, um, the Three of Swords, Queen of Coins underneath that. Hmm, that's the ability to really do and handle everything all on your own. You might have like a, a business or something at home that you're handling too. So there might be a lot of going back and forth. You may still be working on something that um, is part of a past opportunity here as the Ace of Coins it's in the past. Um, and so this might be something that is continued. So the only flexibility really that it's asking for is within this major change or transformation. You have the hanged one as the challenge, which is a, a waiting, like either waiting or giving a lot of your own energy. So something could feel like I can't handle all this stuff anymore. So, that might be what that's saying. Um, I'm leading more to um, when you can't wait around being, um, you know, too flexible um, so that we don't get any change. So, hanging around, waiting, maybe putting your head in your work or whatever your craft is. This three of wands um, is in, it's the card in the environment in the reverse. Somebody could, um, well, there's something about seeing uh, clearly whether or not somebody is returning or not, or is like a surprising opening of the eyes of what's not expanding. Or you could, um, put more thought or something, uh, thinking maybe into meditating. But, I mean, the main message is you're seeing something clearly. Tell us more about the tower. Let's go ahead and get that. Well, it's sudden change. Sometimes it's the good tower. This is the, the Six of Pentacles. So it suggests that if you give something, it's going to be given. There'll be something that is given back to you. Um, 
this is celebrating with your friends and your family, and I feel like it's tied to this abundance. Especially since what you're thinking about a lot is the Empress. Be careful as to not repeat another cycle or to... Because it's all about perspective of how you got here. Um, but changing up how you do things um, or what you choose to invest in is paramount to not like having to repeat a lesson. Just being careful with the with your influence too, or who you're influenced by. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Maybe this is you with some kind of um, unexpected conversation, or unexpected, maybe a difficult um, conversation to have. Page of Swords. Or it's what you've heard or, or like your own bits of information. Getting a message. Maybe making you feel really good. Maybe making you feel like you're um, going to extend an offer here to somebody. So tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. Why is it in reverse? The strength in reverse. There was probably overconfidence that a certain amount or of juggling could be even possible. And, and so overconfidence would ap appear if something's being thrown off balance. It might have to do with confidence in what you're doing. The Six of Cups indicates a soulmate connection. This might be an unexpected uh, feeling or something like that. Soulmate energy. Maybe um, nostalgia. Maybe thinking about um, the past and something maybe that was to be completed. Like to be continued, right? So this is about that journey. Maybe this is feeling like the journey, the trip hasn't even begun actually. Maybe you can see that clearly, that there's so much more to go. <clears throat> the devil in reverse. It might be releasing um, toxic situations or transforming completely situations that were just kind of um, bringing you down. So... This might be doing something a little bit different. So this world card in reverse, it's like still enjoying the world. You got another world card in reverse. They both are meaning that there's something up in the air that's going to have a completion. But right now, it's telling you to enjoy the journey. It's not about the finish line. So it's not about the finish line. Um, you have the page of coins in the reverse and the wheel in reverse. You don't want to repeat a lesson. And I think that it's saying, um, look, if there is perspective shifts that can um, be had on looking at why somebody might maybe repeated a lesson or maybe why you had to, it's all about perspective because there's no failures. There's just, you know, the steps in your success. And this is like proceeding forward Good news, social media, maybe connections, new friends, um, good news coming in for you. Eight, and I got another eight, so eight, eight. Uh, prosperity, abundance, got to get out of your own way with the eight of swords. You could be really in your head and, you know, um, this can, that can be like a mental prison to you. So feeling maybe restricted, but how much of it is, um, or our thoughts that you know that aren't you right five of swords in the reverse if there is like a, a see it's it's this energy of like seeing clearly that you just don't you don't choose to be part of the conflict or fight for something because of what you've been through with the three of swords already 
And this is truly, seeing clearly might be because of uh, being free from addictions that could have influenced or had you seeing a certain way. The Empress is what you're uh, hoping for, I feel like. Maybe not planning or not noticing that there's more paths or possibilities towards this um, hope than you realize. And the Empress is really good at, like, surprisingly able to take care of a lot of others, too. This card really, I mean, it it is a little bit about the losses. With the Three of Cups, it can be about mourning, whatever it was that was lost, or just mourning. The Two of Cups, though, are the um, presented opportunities here to you. So, they're the Two of Cups. Um, kind of waiting to be acknowledged. So, it's the it's that transition through that heavy emotion of after a disappointment you know there's something good so what it's trying to say and i got six six so this is the six of pentacles it's it's of saying basically that when you give to somebody else that like it's going to be returned to you and that something is going to be successful regarding whatever you're doing to help the greater good and helping yourself. It's helping balance the scales. Positive thinking, really helping that to move in a really good positive direction. Yeah, so it's not about your final destination, it's about the journey. All right. And that's what I've got for you, Geminis. Sending you light and love. If you need a private reading, you can reach out to me and get one of those. I guess I'll pull an oracle card to close out your reading with. I want to be too quick about that. The never-ending story. Could have people that you feel close or attached to in a soul group way. Maybe people or someone who has been part of um, a past life. If you believe in that stuff. So I have 47, Go the Distance. It's about your manifestations really speeding up, picking up speed, taking off, and about to um, about to finish that. 11 is by the book. There's some kind of mastery. You know exactly how it should be done. It's like this, 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 and you exactly know. You know. And the Treasure Island on the bottom, number nine. So it's a never ending story. There's go the distance with your manifestation. You may be feeling like a waiting game here or like you've been through something before. It is about mastery. So don't worry about this finish line though. Just worry more about having fun on the process or the journey. All right, that's what I've got for you, Gemini. Sending you light and love. Bye-bye.